Alright, what's up guys? We got a uh, black and white match here today between me and Tornado Survives. This match is actually fairly old, but we had two matches. Uh, both are too long to do a double header. I tried to do one and the file ended up being really long. So I'll just do this one and I'll toss the other one down like two or three months down the road or something. But uh, he's going to lead with Arachi. I predicted him to go for the U-turn knowing that uh, he would probably think I was scared of the Ice Punch because lead Rachi is usually... Uh, choice scarf just to get some scouting initiative right on the first turn but uh he goes out to crest and i knew i'd be able to take a u-turn you know just nicely so i go for my u-turn does great amount of damage it actually turns out to be i think that's a crit so it does over half which is actually i got out of that exchange a lot better because now i get the switch initiative and uh this crest is half damaged as well so i'm gonna take this opportunity go to my victini uh, I don't have anything super effective to hit it, but I know it won't really appreciate a, uh, a life orb fire blast. So he's going to switch out, going to go to his road and predict the fire blast. It's not like I was really going to go for anything else this early in the game. Uh, I could have predicted the switch to something else if maybe he, if maybe I knew what kind of crest it was. But for now, I get the burn on the Rotom, which, you know, doesn't really matter that much since Rotom's carried pain split and all that. And Rotom's not really physical in the first place the day I see a waterfall and, uh, while charging Rotom, just let me know and I'll make sure to eat my own words there. But for now, I'm actually going to go into uh, Wargle. I don't know what I was predicting, what I was doing, but because uh, he, he, I knew he wasn't going to go for the Will O Wisp, and I had a feeling he was going to go for the Hydro Pump, and I thought maybe I could take one of those. I didn't really think he was going to go for the T Bolt for some reason, even though that danger was uh, pretty much there. So, he ends up burning me. I really don't know why I made this switch. I play like garbage in some of these matches, and uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. Like that, that Slowbro one a couple days ago, that was a ridiculous. But uh, for now, he's going to go ahead and withdraw his Rotom, knowing he can take a return. And he goes into his Lucario, and I'm like, fuck! Because, you know, he's taking a burned return. Like, that barely does a quarter, like, if that. So... I'm gonna get out and he's gonna get a free setup turn. I forget what kind of Lucaro he is. I'm thinking Swords Dance, so I bring in my own Luc No, he's actually Nasty Plot, okay. So he's using the special version, I'm using the physical version right here, and I think we're both plus speed natures, but uh, since he's Nasty Plot and I know he's more than likely gonna have the Vacuum Wave, I go to Big Boss to take it and also his Death Fodder, just in case, you know, I, for some reason, d uh, do take it, I'll end up dying from the burn. So. I'm free to bring in uh, my Victini now, because he doesn't have rocks up or anything either. His vacuum move won't do much, I'm a higher base speed so I can very easily threaten him out with the uh, the fire blast, and he's going to go to his Rotom to take that, and even if it were to take that by some free chance, the burn would uh, the burn would kill it off, and since he switched in, yeah, he there's no doubt that he did that as fodder, so there's not really much of a need to go into it. So he has an Infernape here, I'm guessing it's Choice Banded. And I'm actually going to take this opportunity to go into my Lucario, predicting the U-turn. And that does happen, and I take it. I take it all right. So 40 points of damage really isn't that bad. However, he does get the switch initiative, but I don't end up taking that damage on my Victini because I know it's going to end up being pretty uh, special here. So I go out to uh, Omastar here, predicting... I don't know what I was predicting, but he goes to the trick. I'm like, fuck, man, this is my first time using this Omastar. Don't do this to me. I hate you. So... He goes for the Iron Head, as I'm locked, I'm actually not locked in on any moves because I haven't done any moves, and even still my speed is going to be garbage, because, uh, Scarf and whatnot. Well, actually no, because I'm a Shell Break set, so I have some speed, but even still Choice Scarf for Omastar isn't really, yeah. So, I go for the Surf on his, uh, Notore, doesn't even do anything, that's like one, that's probably like one tenth, if I'm lucky, I, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it's really not that much. And I'm actually just trying to leave my Omastar in here as fun. I'm like, why won't you kill me? But you know him. He takes his opportunity to set up the rocks. Because uh, he knows I'll either end up switching out or I'll try to fodder it out. So I just keep going for surfs because that's all I can do. And he ends up setting up the leech. And I'm like, oh, why are you doing this to me? I hate you so much right now. Just kill me off because I don't want anything else seated. And uh, I really don't need this Omastar. Like... I, I don't see the need for switch fodder at this point in the match, and I just need him to kill me off, and he's not doing that. So he goes for the gyro ball, and because I'm Scarf, that's actually going to be enough to take me out. Uh, not really saying that Notori is fast, but it's actually going to ensure the kill. So uh, he does kill me off finally, I guess, uh, out of pity. So I go into my uh, my Bisharp here. 
And actually, you know what? I've been calling that thing a Tori. I should be calling it a Ferrothorn. Uh, whatever. I, I gotta get used to the English names. But I go to my Bisharp here, and I go for the Brick Break. And it's in this match that I learned that a neutral Brick Break is not enough to, uh, one hit KO a Natori, and that's why w from now on whenever I uh, I send in Bisharp against one of these things, I set up a Sword Stance first regardless of what it'll do. So uh, he switches out, goes to Rachi, predicting a Brick Break, and his Rachi's gonna take it, uh, it's about a third, you know, not really like I could have done much to it anyways. I do have the, uh, the Sucker Punch, so I should be able to hit this Rachi if it tries to hit me. It's not like it's going to trick me left over, so I try to go for the Sucker Punch. It looks like my Vegas stalled out for a bit, but uh, I hit him with it, which is nice, and I'm going to take a neutral U-turn, and he almost takes me out. Now, I actually wish he would have taken me out so I could have gotten the Switch initiative, but he ends up going out to his Notori again, and I think he ends up getting Leech Seed Hoth off of me, so I guess in the long run I do get the Switch initiative because I forgot about the Leech Seed, but... Looking at it, I just really wish it would have killed me because, you know, 6 HP is just kind of salt on the wound. Not a lot of salt, but just saying. <laughs> so, uh, I bring in my Lucario, knowing all he can, like, all he can really do is uh, Leech Seed me, and I know I can Oko it with a plus 2 close combat. I can Oko it from this range with a regular close combat. I just want to be able to do enough damage to his Jirachi and his, uh, his Lucario when they come in. And thinking about it, I should have set up another one. Because the worst he can do is Gyro Ball me, and I'd probably be good for one or two more hits. But, uh, yeah, kind of sucked. Uh, thinking about it in hindsight, I don't get any Leech Seed damage this time. But, uh, he's gonna go ahead and bring in, I think that's his own Lucario. And I guess I win the Speed Tie, or I think Extreme Speed is actually plus two elevated priority instead of a plus one. So, I end up winning that exchange, uh, however it's not very effective and he's gonna end up winning the matchup in general because Vacuum Wave is super effective and stab. So he's barely gonna get out of that. And I go into my uh, Galvantula right now and I'm just gonna try to hit it with a Thunder. Um, I should've just tried to go for a Bug Buzz even though I know it resisted a decent amount. But uh, it doesn't really matter because he ends up going for the Vacuum Wave anyway. I resist it, which is nice. Uh, he goes into his Jirachi right now, I'm gonna go for the Thunder, which actually has like 92, 93 accuracy, something like that. So, uh, it's thankfully gonna take it out from that range. He goes into his Crest, I'm thinking, oh my god, maybe this is gonna be a Galvantula sweep! So, I go for the Bug Buzz, and because it's stabbed, and because it's Life Orb, and because it's super effective, it's actually gonna be able to take it out from that range, no questions asked. So. He brings in his Infernape, which I believe is his last, and I'm like, all right, speed tie, let's go, and I lose a speed tie, which is horrid. Unless, you know, he was scarfed, I'm pretty damn sure that at this point in the metagame, it was the Bandit variant that was floating around that was very popular. So I ended up losing the speed tie, and the only way he can win is if he misses this Stone Edge. He does not, so the match is a narrow 1-0 in his favor. It was a very uh, excellent match. Usually when it hinges on speed ties that late in the game, uh, you know, was a was a pretty stellar match. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, continuing daily uploads week. This will be uh, Thursday's upload. Uh, I'm thinking I might do not do one on Friday, or I'll just have my streaming video count as that because I'll be streaming and then I'll just give you one on Saturday or whatever. I I'm not sure yet. But uh, here you go. This is Thursday's. I'm uploading Wednesdays as we speak, and uh, we'll just go from there. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.